you better be listening real good because this is going to be huge for you. So I recently was on a call and I have known this person for quite a while. And so I cannot take all of this credit for myself. I have to give it to her. Her name is Mariana. And she had shared with me this idea recently that has opened and expanded my mind. And it's something that business coaches are not telling you about how you can have your business and how you can run your business. And essentially, it boils down to one thing, which has been really quite essential if I think about it for quite a long time, but we we have really not covered it in the online space because everybody talks about your I help statement, how you go on Instagram and in your bio, you want to talk about, you know, who you help and how specifically you do it. And no, that's, that's so 2019, it's out. People are way more multi-passionate, way more multifaceted than that. And so it's time to adapt and realize that we can do more than one thing. And for all of you multi-passionate entrepreneurs out there, this is for you. And ultimately it boils down to having a mission statement, okay? This has been a business practice forever. It is literally included in how to write out your business plan. And for whatever reason, when we get into the online space, we talk about your I help statement or, you know, specifically what you do or, you know, how you can fit yourself into this box that nobody wants to be in. So let's take a step back for a second because I'm starting to get a little worked up. Let's take a step back and really start to parse this out and go through understanding what a mission statement is how you can create a mission statement and why a mission statement is beneficial for you. So what is a mission statement? It is a definition of what you believe your mission is as a personal brand, as a business owner, as a content creator, as a leader in the online space. And the reason why business coaches aren't really talking about this is because I don't really think they understand their own mission statement in all honesty. They say like, oh yeah, this is my mission. And then what happens is like two months later, they're not following the same lit mission, right? Like I think of a couple of coaches whose original mission was that the more impact you make, the more income you receive, right? Now they're in a totally different place. They're talking about wealth and it's completely askew from where they started. It, it is somewhat related, but it is so vastly different. So when you want to create your own mission statement, like what is it that you're going to be looking for? Like what, where do you even start? And so I want to dive into how you can create your own mission statement. And really it is quite simple and you want to keep it as simple as possible and that is to sum up your purpose in about a sentence, all right? Like sum up what you feel like you're here to do in one sentence or less. And I want to just share with you mine so you have an example. When I was asked this question, like some of you might be like, well, I don't know. And when I was asked this question, hell yeah, I was like, mm, I don't know. But if I just really took a step back and I, you know, really understood the question and I really put my focus towards that question, what am I here to do? What am I here to share? I think on other things that I have accomplished in my life that have allowed me to get to this point. So my mission has to do with rowing and winning a medal. My mission has to do with starting two businesses and securing a location for one of them. My mission has to do with this lifestyle, this relationship that I've wanted for my life forever and creating this beautiful relationship with Tommy and with, you know, a baby on the way. That was, that was my timer for the laundry <laughs> with a baby on the way with the cat, right? Like creating the life of my dreams, right? And like going after the money and the wealth that I want and manifesting the reality that I want. So 
truly my mission, if I had to sum it up in one sentence, is that anything is possible. Anything is possible. Literally, that includes health, that includes travel, that includes business, that includes marketing and sales, that includes my subconscious, my subconscious and neuroscientific work that I'm doing to get my mindset in the right place. That includes things like manifestation. That includes social media and content. There are so many people who are like, if I could just pop off or if I could get this many followers on social media, yeah, it's possible. I've done it on TikTok. I had 103.1K followers on one account. I have 13.4 thousand followers on another account. It's possible. You can do it. I'll help you understand how, right? Like it encompasses so much more than just marketing or just business or just freaking grab avoid codes, okay? My mission is to help you realize that anything is possible for your life. So when I go into my business, I take that with me because I'm not creating my life around my business. I'm creating my business around my life. That's the difference. So instead of me saying like, oh, this is my business and then I create off of it. No, my life is at the center of it. So instead of sitting here and like listening to people talk about building the lifestyle that you want and then building the business around it, I want you to take this concept. I want you to kind of like flip it on its head for a second. Think about the life that you were here to purposefully lead. Think about what your purpose, what your life's purpose is. And then all of those topics that come up out of it, they are all your business. Every single one of them. All of that is your business. Okay. And if you can sum it up in one statement, awesome. That's going to be amazing for you because you just summarized one, your life's purpose, what you are here to help others transform with. For me, I am here to help others understand and transform their life to realize anything is possible. What does that include to all of those topics? I know it was a little like boo boo there, but the point is you take the time to one, Think on what the overarching mission is. Again, anything is possible, right? Two, what does that include in the scope of my life? For me, it's rowing. For me, it's building businesses. For me, it's marketing and sales. For me, it's content, right? For you, it could be animals. For you, it could be gardening. I don't know, you do. You know your topics, you know your purpose. Maybe your purpose is to help people live healthier lives. Maybe your purpose is to help people realize what it takes to become more heart-centered. What does that include? Maybe it includes nutrition. Maybe it includes spirituality. Maybe it includes movement, yoga. Those are your topics, all of them. That is your business, all of that, okay? So all of those things really help me understand how to take this, like these concepts that coaches so vaguely talk about and business owners are still stuck in how it is that they're gonna move forward from this. How are they gonna take this and make it their own? This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Okay, I spent a lot of time on how you do it and I really want to dive into why creating a mission statement is really important for your business and really it comes down to three things. The first being content collection. That is my new term. I am coining it. It's mine. Don't take it. It's mine. <laughs> content collection. You now have a multi faceted bunch of different types of content that you can now just love into. You can 
ease into all of the manifestation content you want. You can ease into all of the business content you want. You can ease into all of the social media content or even, you know, the sports content you want. All of it is relevant because it's all connected to the same mission. It's all connected to the same mission. Every single one of those topics is showing your audience, hey, anything is possible. Anything's possible. So taking content creation for one specific subject out of the equation entirely. You can be multi-passionate, tie it to an umbrella statement that captures that. You're going to do yourself wonders. So that's the first reason why it's really super awesome. Number two is that, well, I just... I've said it like three or four times. People are multi-passionate. Yeah, you can be passionate about one thing. That's great. I'm happy for you. But I know that there are other aspects of your life that exist that you're not talking about. If you are a business coach and all you talk about is business tips and sales tips and marketing tips, you are cutting your story short. Your story short. You're cutting your story short. You're also hiding from your audience and I'm going to call you on it because it's true. You are preventing people from seeing the real and true you because you are afraid. You're afraid. I'm going to call you on it because it's true. You don't want people to see what's going on on the inside because you don't control that. What you have control over is business. What you have control over is what people are going to see. And that's not a real story. It's not. So I'm going to call you on it. So think about it that way as well. You are multi-passionate. You can share other aspects of your life and that's okay. Clearly I've moved. <laughs> this is a very different background than what has happened before. Have I been as active to be able to be like, oh yeah, I've moved. Um, Maybe not, but I am open about it. I'm, I'm an open book, right? Like I'm going to tell you that this has happened and this might be helpful for you to realize out of this story. All right. That's huge too. When you're, when you're multifaceted, you have multiple different types of stories that you can share. And storytelling is what connects with people on every level, whether it's a business level, whether it's a relationship level, whether it's a transforming your health level, Stories is what keeps people going. Stories is what's authentic and stories is what shares and sells and moves and makes society transform. Stories, not facts. Stories have some basis of feeling and emotion in it. And that's why feelings and emotions are so important because they help us connect to people. They help us connect to ideas. They help us connect to other things. So it's okay for you to be multi-passionate and that's covered within the scope of creating a mission statement. And the last reason that I want to touch on really quick is that because when you create a mission statement, what you actually do is you create a way for people to engage with you and to create a community with you that is not creating customers. There is a very massive difference and I am very vehement about this because I have been a part of this before in 2020. There was a coach who just boasts about how her biggest pillar is community and her biggest pillar is you know, being surrounded in community with other people. All of the people who are in her community are her customers. And trust me, I did not say this. Gary Vaynerchuk said this, and it's 1 million percent true, that people want to build a community because they actually want people to have customers. They want to sell to these people. Building a community when you have a mission statement creates audiences of people from outside different like topics, right? Like I'm going to get people in my community who are business people. I'm going to get people in my community who are manifestation people. I'm going to get people in my community who are all about, you know, like rowing or finance or wealth or like so many different areas of life, so many different walks of life. That's a real community. 
And whether these people pay me or not, it's not up to me. It's up to them, right? Like I am going to make an offer. That's what I do as a business person. That's what I do as a creator. And it's up to them if they want to be a part of it. But I'm not creating a community to strictly create customers. That's called manipulation. It's that easy. You got to know it when you see it and recognize it because those people are out there and they are, they're not your people. They're not your people. Okay? If you really want to create a community, create a mission where you can have different people from different walks of life engage and be a part and contribute to your mission because that is, at the end of the day, the ultimate only thing that matters, the mission, not the dollar. The dollar is nice, don't get me wrong. But the mission is why you're here. That's the, that's the pull, that's the tug, is to create that legacy for your family. It's to show others that this is possible for them. It's to make people realize it or help people realize that they can lead healthier lifestyles. It's so much more than you. And that's why it's better to think of your life and your business in that way. So I really want to shout out Mariana again for sharing this topic because I've gotten so super worked up about it and it has helped me realize a lot of things and facets that I had not realized before. So thank you, Mariana, for sharing that. And if you have not yet already, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions. Let me know what it is that you think about all of this. If you are a multi-passionate entrepreneur, if you're a multi-passionate person, I want to know. Leave me a comment. Share this video with your friends because this is what they're not telling you. They're, they're holding this back and I don't want to hold this back. I want to open up the curtain. I want to pull back the curtain so that you can see. This is huge. You can do this and this is a venue. This is like a, a way to be able to help you, the multi-passionate person, to maximize the most out of your life, your business, whatever it might be, your relationships, your health, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said before, definitely leave a comment. And if you have not yet already, be sure to subscribe. Ding! Click the notification notification button as well so that you get notified every time I release a new podcast, a new video. And what's the last thing? Oh, we're going to be talking about so much more than just manifestation or just business or just marketing or just content or just social media or just sales or whatever. We're going to be talking about it all because, yeah, we can. All of those things contribute to how anything is possible. And that's how you create endless content at the end of the day. So I'm really excited to keep barging forward. And I'm ho so, I don't know why I like can't talk right now. I am so excited to open this up to you and to have this journey that we can walk on together no matter what walk of life you are, on or from. So be sure to tune in, follow along for more, all of the things. I'll see you next week.